Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I thought we could talk a little bit of Supergirl. Well, there have been a couple of characters that fans have been demanding be part of the show for years, and one of those characters is Kara Zor-El. The fan demand goes way back, and people have been clamoring for her to appear on Earth-16 since the early days of the show. Now, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I really didn't feel like she had a place on the show until about Season 3. But, her inclusion in the Earth-16 universe is what fans have wanted, and it appears that Greg Wiseman and Young Justice team finally gave it to us. But, it really wasn't what anybody expected. Now, as many of you know, Season 4 closed out with a post credit scene that gave us that first peek at Supergirl, and she was standing shoulder to shoulder with Black Mary, Granny Goodness, and Darkseid giving us one heck of a cliffhanger. Now, prior to this, we knew very little about Kara Zor-El in the Earth-16 universe. It was mentioned briefly by Ursa that Zor-El had a daughter, but beyond that, we knew nothing. Kara has not been part of the show or the comics prior to this appearance, but we do know a little bit based on what we found out in Season 4, and I thought we could take a couple minutes to talk about it. Now, it appears this version of Kara Zor-El is pretty much off the ranch, but I think we're going to have to look into her history to try to figure out what happened and how she'll move forward. We do know that at some point her father sent her to the Phantom Zone. And this obviously happened before the destruction of Krypton. Now in case you didn't know, her father, Zor-El, was Jor-El's brother and the chief examiner on Krypton, giving him access to the Phantom Zone technology. Now the big question is, why and when? First, why was Kara sent to the Phantom Zone? This was typically where criminals were sent, so we have to speculate, at least for a second, that Kara was a criminal, and upon release, just naturally gravitated to being one of the bad guys. Another, another variable that probably should be asked is her age. As many of you know, when people go into the Phantom Zone, they're put into sort of physical stasis. Remember, Lorzod's mother was technically pregnant with him for eons, so Kara was her present age when she was sent into the Phantom Zone. In the show, she appears to be in her late teens or early 20s, so this means she was not a child, pretty much an adult when this event happened. I think the why and when of her going into the Phantom Zone will probably play big into deciphering the character, but these are pretty much all the details we know, and hopefully by Season 5 we'll get a couple more pieces. Now, by the end of Season 4, the Light had captured all the Kryptonians in the Phantom Zone, and Apocalypse demanded that she be turned over as tribute. Now, this begs some serious questions, because it wasn't totally answered. They said Darkseid demanded one as tribute, but was he specific? Did he choose Kara specifically from the crop of Kryptonians that Vandal Savage had captured? And if he did, what was the reason for this? Now, obviously, she is of the House of L, just like Superman and Superboy, and he may be doing this to create some sort of advantage in, a, in the upcoming battle for Earth. It does really create an instant moral, family-oriented conflict between these characters, and that alone adds some advantage to his side. Darkseid is obviously well aware of the Kryptonians on Earth, and because New Genesis and Apocalypse appear to have a yellow sun, this would make a great piece of his overall plan. If he's planning on manipulating Kryptonians, though, I do wonder why he didn't ask for more from Vandal Savage, and more so why he would leave Savage in control of, or at least in possession of, so many remaining Kryptonians who are so powerful under Yellow Sun. The other thing with Kara we have to ask is her time in the Phantom Zone. We have seen firsthand how difficult it can be to survive in the zone. This is both physically and mentally. Now, we don't have to be a fan of General Zod, but he has a wealth of willpower and discipline that helped him rise to the ranks of the greatest general in his planet's history. This is a pretty big accomplishment all on its own, and not something a young and rather untrained Kara zor would possess. The lack of these attributes could have set her up to not survive very well in the Phantom Zone, and it may have twisted her mind in a way that made it very easy for Darkseid and Granny Goodness to manipulate her. We saw what happened to Connor and how hard it was to break the spell over him. It could very well be happening to Kara, and that could be something addressed in future seasons and stories. Now, we do know by the end of the season, Kara has joined Granny Goodness's Furies and is standing side by side with Black Mary and Darkseid, setting up really one of the best cliffhangers in the series history. Now, what happens to her next, we're going to have to wait and see. I really don't think Supergirl is likely to appear in these Young Justice Targets comics. They're very Earth-focused, and she's such an overwhelmingly powerful character, I don't think she'll be introduced into that story. 
But this is another reason why we need Season 5, and a reminder to make sure you guys keep up the campaign. Renew Young Justice, Young Justice Season 5, and Save Earth 16 are the big hashtags we want to use. Make sure you tag Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers Animation, and HBO Max. Let them know how much you love the show, and keep the messages positive. If you're a fan of this channel, you know we cover everything Young Justice. So if you want all the Young Justice news, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We have weekly Young Justice videos dropping, so don't miss any of the updates. But until we know more, what do you guys think? Do you think Kara zor was put into the Phantom Zone because she was a criminal or her father was trying to save her? And do you think the heroes will be able to break her spell that Darkseid and Granny Goodness are holding over her? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.